Uh, what inspired you to create a TV show? Since we already know that a lot of people already have their show on the community channel, so I don't know why you decided to create a TV show. Um, well, I'm a minister, and I'm a minister. Um, well, I simply focus on the gene. I don't worry about what I convert anybody. I just share what I learned along the way. So when I first started broadcasting this team, um, when 2020 hit, I just needed to find direction. And when I first started 2016, I was a field producer. So I was going to different people's locations through these conversations. But when COVID hit and kind of that interaction, I needed to find a direction. And at the same time, I was becoming an empty nest. So when I decided, to, um, to traveling after my trip to Africa, I knew that I wanted to share to my ministry these this next chapter I was going through. So when the studio opened back at Bronx, mm -hmm. it just made okay. Well, since we're not interacting and we're using Zoom and StreamYard, we need to develop a you know, talking about chapter of my life mm -hmm. and using that as a part of my ministry. Okay, so that's why you decided to name your show uh, the next chapter. Uh, if you can just explain to our viewer why you decided to give your show name the next chapter instead of the other names. Well, I chose the next chapter because I, I think the best you always think and represent yourself. Okay. The best representation. And at the moment, I'm going to my next show. And it be if you hear anything on television or radio, everyone is talking about their next their next year, their next chapter there. So I think we're all going through mm -hmm. evolving chapters in our lives mm -hmm. that we all can relate to. So it was a time that I think was relatable. Okay. So uh, for me, when we, we was going to school, when you talk about next chapter, that means you already conclude about the other chapter. So and uh, talking um, about that next chapter, last year you went to Senegal. And then uh, uh, I think we had a show here and then we talk more about that trip, right? So today, yeah, today I have a, a short video, the summary of your trip. So I have a video. If, uh, you are ready, you can just throw okay. that video and then after the, the video, you will comment. Yeah. <laughs> we are back now, so uh, tell me about your experience. Uh, well, my, in my experience was absolutely beautiful, which is the reason why for the, you just saw about what I wanted to put together in these healing taking people through Africa or the land, back home, our root, our ancestral burial. Um, because I thought the connection of going through the next chapters of our lives, mm -hmm. but also remembering and co where we come from, strengthen our identity, I believe, as Black. So that's what that did for me. It just ignited, ooh, it ignited the strength that I have as a black woman. Sometimes I think going through these ups and downs with queens, forget your So that trip reminded of my strength. And then I wanted to keep people back. So 
that's what focus now what a trip would look like under the kid lifestyle going back to the Senegal Africa, um to get that connection to our spiritual strength of those from our original land Ok, that's good. Si compris que si tu veux avoir quelque chose que tout le monde n'a pas, faut faire quelque chose que tout le monde ne fait pas. The more when you met the Kenna Borona, the so when Kemo, the more when you bang me the Mona, Sinja Monga Bembelido, Papa Sinja Maza, Panakadekin, Papa Sinja Maza.